We are going to discuss an enzyme that is renin. This is Raghavendra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, I am Renin. Hi guys, sorry, I am Renin. Or I am also known as Chymosin. You know something? There are two enzymes in the body having the same name. One renin belongs to the kidneys. She is belonging to the kidneys. Whereas I am belonging to the digestion of the milk or curd. I am an extracellular enzyme. That is, I am secreted by the cells, but I am not working in the cells. I am secreted in the abomasum of ruminant animals. You may have also got a doubt, what is abomasum? Abomasum is nothing but the fourth or the final lining of the ruminant animals. Also, in the early stages of humans, I am present or secreted by the chief cells in the stomach of some animals. I am helpful in the digestion of the milk. So now you have, may have known that uh, I am present in only the neonatal stomach of ruminants of cattle, goat, animals, but I am not present in humans and chimpanzees because I am, my activities gene is inactivated in them. Now you may have all known about the EC number. My EC number is 3.4.23.4. 3 means I belong to to the group of hydrolases, 4 is I act on and peptide bonds, so I am a peptidase and 23 means I am belonging to the group of aspartic endopeptidases, whereas 4 is a variety or the serial number of me. To know the fun fact of my history, I am being used by the Egyptians, the Sumerians since 5500 BC. Sadly, no one have made any attempt to isolate me from that time. I am being used in the making of cheese, curd, etc. So now for the part of isolation, Dr. Jean Baptist Deschamps have made some estimations to extract me. I am given a code name that is Chymosine. In the initial condition, I am secreted as an inactive proenzyme that is prochymosin in the stomach of the animals. I am activated by the acid that is present in your stomach. So my main function is digestion of the proteins. In the infant stages of the humans, I am being very useful in the digestion of the proteins. How do you digest proteins? For you, in order to understand how do I digest the milk, you need to know about the casein proteins. There are four types of casein proteins, alpha S1, alpha S2 and beta and kappa. Now, alpha and beta proteins are easily precipitable by calcium. You all know one thing that milk is having higher levels of calcium. So, the calcium precipitation of alpha and beta is relatively higher. They, the milk molecules, generally form micelles. These micelles will not be broken down easily, but when they are precipitated, they tend to break down. So, in general, the milk has kappa casein, which is really helpful in anticoagulating of this casein activity. Now for the casein part that is kappa casein you need to know one thing that kappa casein is not easily precipitable by the calcium. So who will enter now? Obviously I will enter the scene that is chymosin. Chymosin will help to break down or to convert the casein kappa casein proteolytically into para kappa casein. Now, since there is no chance of para kappa casein to again convert the milk into its original liquid form, I successfully broke down milk and have coagulated into curd. Mostly generally secreted by the younger animals because younger animals need high amount of nutrition. That nutrition is generally provided by the dairy products. That most important dairy product is milk. So, I am really helpful in the younger animals. But, do you know something? I am also an industrial enzyme. The most of the modern day industries which you are observing right now are working because of me. For the conclusion part, I would like to tell you one thing. That if you have not discovered an enzyme like me, chymosin, the modern day industries and the leaders of the nation like Amul, Wise and Dairy, all the dairy industries would have been collapsed. 
फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव कॉन्टेंट प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब